everybody. Happy Sunday. I hope that wherever you are and whatever you are doing, you are having a fantastic weekend. It has snowed. It wasn't supposed to snow in the middle of the week and then it became more and more likely. And then on Tuesday evening, we got about four inches, maybe five inches overnight. The town I live near to got really nothing but a dusting. We got so much snow and it was so wet and horrible that look, big huge chunks of it and it actually broke this greenhouse here, which means I guess that the family member I'm giving this greenhouse to is going to have to buy a new cover. We knew it was going to happen anyway, but as you can see, we had a lot of snow. Now I'm recording this later in the day after the temperatures have come up. I know when I left this morning to go and get some milk from our nearby dairy farm, this was all still completely slushy and was actually kind of icy underfoot, but as you can see, it's just turning to slush now. I'm recording this on Wednesday. Friday, we are predicted to get anywhere, depending on who you listen to, anywhere between a few inches of snow to over a foot. And they're not entirely sure because of the unusual air patterns that we're seeing, how that interacts with the Pacific Northwest. <laughs> Sorry, some snow just fell down over there. And that's creating a bit of an un unusual situation for weather forecasters in the Pacific Northwest to deal with. Uh, one weather forecast suggests it's going to get down to like minus 14 Celsius at night time, so into the teens Fahrenheit or perhaps even lower. But the snow we have right now, as you can see, it's all that really wet, very heavy stuff. And the chicken, sort of the chicken run here didn't do so well. I had to kind of push it back up this morning because of the sheer amount of wet, heavy snow that laid on it. As you know, when it's really cold and you get really, really cold snowfall, it tends not to have a huge amount of moisture in it, not like this. This was basically rain down in the, in the valley and as soon as it hit the colder air, sorry, at the higher elevations, it turned to this. So chickens are very unhappy and hiding in the chicken coop. But let's see what's happened in the garden. The, the whole experience of uh, getting that unexpected snow is that we weren't quite prepared for it. Although I was able to give the chickens some extra warm food this morning. The broccoli seems barely bothered by it. I mean, look at those broccoli uh, florets are doing just amazingly well. And I'll probably have some of those later this evening for my supper. That is how little they care. The sprouts, again, don't really seem to care. The rosemary here is doing just fine. As you can see, this wet snow just clumps and hangs everywhere. Very high moisture content, not much in the way of freezing going on. And now it's turning to a thaw and that could cause problems because as I'm about to show you, we've had a lot of water here. You can see here, a lot of water over the last week or so and that is causing some flooding locally when I went out to pick up some milk earlier on today there were definitely a couple of areas of the road that had basically got water all the way across them even though it was heavy snow up here so we don't know what's going to happen this weekend by the time you watch this we either will have had another massive snow event and we'll have an extra as I said, maybe over a foot of snow, or it will have just turned to rain and everything will be all right. The weather forecasters are being really honest. They said of this weather event that brought the snow here, they didn't expect it to bring snow. And then it did. They expect a huge amount of snow Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and maybe into the early part of next week. But the temperatures are warming up and the temperatures here are kind of bizarre. So normally when you get a cold 
um, you get a cold winter storm in, you'll get cold for a couple of days and then you'll get it back to normal temperatures. Yesterday, and I've been looking at the temperature from my, my, uh, my home assistant integration, it was 10 degrees Celsius for a pretty large part of yesterday during the day. And then around about two, three o'clock, it started to plummet. By the time my wife came back from dropping off, um, or rather taking our Labrador to her hydrotherapy session, a very old Labrador who needs regular hydrotherapy to keep her mobile and healthy, uh, it had just started snowing when she came back. And in the first hour, uh, we got a couple of inches fell and then it kind of settled down. And as I said, we ended up with about four or five inches by this time this morning. And um, But as you can see, now it's melting pretty quickly. I think the temperature is now four or five degrees Celsius. The chickens are now starting to explore and go looking for food, which they did not want to do this morning. They were all still in their coop. As a consequence of this, <laughs> I've done no gardening this week. Uh, but the weather obviously is part of a life in the country, but also... Um, life as someone who who gardens uh, but i do have some good news when it comes to the snow specifically that my greenhouse survived its first snowstorm if you look up there you'll see there's not too much in the way of sagging and while there is some sagging uh, we did seem to have really nailed it when it comes to figuring out how much uh, how much give uh, we needed to put into the greenhouse and you can see there's quite a lot of heavy snow on here I'm just going to knock some of it off now but it is for the most part doing just fine and I'll push some off here you see the snow is the noise it's making is epic uh, the snow coming off here um, is not causing any damage to the plastic and unlike the plastic on the other greenhouse this one has done just fine look at that <laughs> i am getting some water falling on me uh, but the water is actually from the condensation of the warm air inside the greenhouse and uh the cold snow on the roof so let's try this again and see if we can do this now before we go on I'm going to just make sure that I can rub the lens because otherwise Em will tell me off so I'll be right back all of the moisture now cleared I, I do want to show you this <laughs> there's still snow falling off the roof you see that lovely little spider there it's found a nice, dry and relatively warm place to spend this weekend as the snow comes down. I love how resourceful the natural world is. So as part of, I suppose, our life in the country and, and our chicken and garden update, I suppose I should probably throw a bone to the fact that this truck is broken again so just before the christmas holidays we got an over-the-air software update for our f-150 lightning and it was supposed to add some new functionality to the blue cruise system it was quite a big update but whatever happened after that update had been pushed to our truck our truck stopped talking to the charging station again and so we've had two power cuts this week and on both occasions we've had to break out the extension cables and power our, our essential appliances using the outlets in the bed of the truck and to say that my wife and I are frustrated is an understatement. I've already reached out to my contacts at Ford and given them a bit of an earful. I've also reached out to my contacts at Sunrun and given them a bit of an earful. Um, I actually rebooted the system yesterday. And we could have the potential for another power cut sometime this week. So I hope 
that the system can be coaxed back into working because as you all know if you watch the main channel the system's pretty expensive we bought it because we wanted to see what it was like we wanted to review it and uh, again while it's great when it works i think it's worked once or twice uh in an actual factual power cut the rest of the time it's just sat there and and twiddled its thumbs yesterday uh so tuesday when it went out we had a really big storm with lots of rain and high winds before the snow came through um, we actually had a power cut just after em arrived for the day to work and so em was able to help put all the cables through the garage and and get that working but you know that is not what we purchased the system for and i guess that is part of of living out in the country and trying to be as sustainable as possible and being as self-reliant as possible and right now we can't do what we want to do with the truck we do have a, a an alternative unit that we are going to be reviewing on the main channel soon so hopefully hopefully we'll be able to tell you more about that soon and hopefully that will be a little bit more reliable than this uh this thing over here the truck as you all know i love this truck but i just do not like the way that this system has been behaving but i know lots of north america has had snow in the last couple of weeks i know there's been a massive mega storm that's been pushing all the way out through the midwest and actually down as far as the south so if you are in that part of the world tell me what it was like was it something that you were ready for did it affect your garden is it going to affect your garden schedule for the coming year and uh yeah tell me about what it's been like where you are and apparently uh there's a bit of a bird fight going on in the chicken coop right now they do that from time to time they are after all baby dinosaurs see you next week thanks for joining me today and if you've got thoughts make sure you leave them below in our discord chat room or you can reach out to us on mastodon thanks to the amazing list of people scrolling by on your screen right now they are some of the more than 1500 people who help fund this channel through patreon and youtube covering our bills paying our team and making sure that we can be 100 percent independent if you'd like to join them and see your name listed here, just follow the links below. There are a range of different tiers you can sign up for from as little as $1 a month, or if you pay yearly, about $10.08 per year. A huge welcome to our newest supporters, Tantalus A. Bond, Michael Baker, Christopher Lawrence, David J. Stober, Noah Tutak, and Ian Hoffman. To join the list and get your shout out, become a paid Patreon member for your week of fame. If you'd like to support us with a one-off donation, you'll find links below to make Kofi and Bitcoin donations, and we even have an old-fashioned PO box you can reach us at, address also below. And if you're in need of some swag, you'll find our swag store in the down below. This month, we're celebrating Electric for Everyone with an amazing new t-shirt design by our in-house artist and animator, Erin. Get yours today by heading to our Redbubble store. We've got some fantastic content coming up, so make sure you're subscribed on Peertube or YouTube and we'll see you very soon. We make new videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. If you want more, the mighty algorithm thinks you'll like this video. But we all think that this one is also well worth a look. See you soon, and as always, keep evolving!